All right, Pierce, thanks very much. He's going to walk over to the Massachusetts delegation, which is right near me. Uh, Soledad O'Brien is standing by. She's got uh, the mayor of Los Angeles, Antonio Villaraigosa. Soledad. That's right. Um, we're sitting right in the middle of the California delegation, which has been very loud and cheering, obviously. Let's talk a little bit about, more about this platform debate. You look very surprised when you were taking this vote to amend the platform. What happened? I wasn't surprised. Uh, I thought uh, I wanted to make sure that every voice was heard. Uh, the first time around, I, I knew there was a majority. I, I wasn't sure if it was a two-thirds vote. The second time around, it sounded a little louder, but I still wasn't sure. By the third time, I knew uh, that there was a two-thirds majority, and so I called it. What happened that uh, would allow those two words, Jerusalem and God, to be left out of the platform? Well, that's a question to ask the platform committee, uh, the drafting uh, committee. But uh, the fact of the matter is uh, the president stepped in and said, uh, I want it in. I want it in because it reflects our values, my values, his values. Uh, and uh, uh, he wanted it in, and so we uh, put it in. Uh, Governor Strickland made the motion and it was approved. You know, that's in contradistinction to Romney, who has said that uh, he doesn't agree with his platform. He could have changed it. Uh, the president showed leadership. Uh, he showed the courage of his convictions, and he showed uh, his, uh, that he's someone that expects that his, the, the Democratic Party platform and, and the Democratic Party that he leads ought to reflect his values. Bill Clinton will speak speaking in just a little bit. We're starting